with Hurricane Irene in the rearview mirror, one extraordinary survivor has emerged. No one could believe it when the adventurous little bird decided to plow straight into the storm. Ten ounces of bird against a 600-mile-wide hurricane? Better bet on the bird. Here's ABC's John Berman. Travelers sat stranded, runway sat empty, 13,000 flights canceled by the giant storm that was Irene. But there was one flight that did go through, of the non-stop international variety. Call it Air Shinkapin. Shinkapin is the name of a wimbrel. A wimbrel is a kind of bird, a very brave bird that flew through a hurricane. Shinkapin was wearing a kind of satellite transmitter backpack so scientists could track him on his annual migration. He left Canada over a week ago. By Wednesday, researchers watched with horror as he headed straight into Irene, then a Category 3 storm with 110 mile per hour winds, and he disappeared. We were all walking around on pins and needles hoping that the bird made it through. But then Friday, they got a signal from Shinkapin, alive and well in the Bahamas. Nice, right? So how exactly did Shinkapin make it through? Maybe guts and gut. The Wimbrel is able to survive the hurricane because of the tremendous fat stores that they're able to, to put on, and therefore they're able to expend the amount of energy that it takes to fly through the hurricane. Scientists say birds have an uncanny ability to judge weather patterns, usually to avoid hurricanes or, in Shinkapin's case, perhaps surf Irene's wind currents and find a safe path through the storm. Maybe it was courage, daring, perseverance, or maybe Shinkapin like Samba. He'll spend the winter in Brazil. John Berman, ABC News, New York.